Hi everyone, this is Dan from a little slice of the pie.com. And if you're watching on YouTube, you probably have no idea who I am. Um, you can head over to a little slice of the pie.com and pick up a free ebook that explains what I do, and you can read the blog and and uh, find out more about who I am. Basically, I'm just a regular guy who sells on Amazon and eBay and my website. Um, and I make a six-figure income every year doing this. And one part of my income is selling media online, DVDs and CDs, video games, Blu-rays, that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. And Amazon actually handles a large portion of this with their FBA Fulfillment by Amazon program. Um, you know, they process the customer's information and uh, box up the DVD, ship it out. And then they send me an email that basically says it's done. So literally I wake up every morning to emails that say I made money while I was sleeping, um, which is pretty cool. And obviously it's got to be set up. It's got to be, you know, it, it's not totally hands off, but it's, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of, uh, it's, a, it's a big payoff for not a ton of work. And I, I wanted to show you visually how I find these DVDs and CDs and titles to sell on Amazon. Um, I've written about this on my blog, again, at a little slice of the pie.com. So there's more information over there about the whole process I used, but I just wanted to show you real quick about how I go about this. Um, and, uh, you know, on the blog, I go into where to find suppliers, who to work with, that kind of thing. But I'm just going to focus right now on Mountain View Movies. It's one of the many suppliers I use for DVDs. Um, they're a liquidation company, so you're not buying straight from the manufacturer. Um, you know, they're basically selling you closeout titles that they bought themselves from distributors or manufacturers or retail stores. You can go a level deeper and work with those manufacturers, distributors, if you, w if you want to and if they'll work with you. But generally, the quantity minimums are a lot higher, and um, I've found that it's, it's worth it just to buy from these liquidation companies. So what I'll do is go here, and this is their new stock, and you can see all these titles that they've gotten in fairly recently and we'll just start at the top here um, actually if I pull this down here I've got this little program called always on top if I just hit control space bar I would highly recommend getting this program it's very cool um, just Google always on top and this will stay on top you can see no matter where I go this this will stay right here so it's very easy to take this copy paste it in here and find the title and then you can compare between the two without having to go back and forth um, so you can see it's selling for twenty one thirty two on Amazon and the sales rank is seventy one thousand ninety four which is not too bad um, basically I'll pick up anything under ninety thousand as long as there's a dollar or two profit and that is what you can expect to make on DVDs is a dollar or two per DVD for the most part um, some are a little higher, some are a little lower. Like I said, it's a volume business. If you want to sell thousands of them, you can start a whole business. I just focus on this as a part of my business. I do quite well doing this, just finding little titles here and there to sell. So let's check this one out. Um, 2132, that, that price difference is not all going to be yours, um, unfortunately, because Amazon takes pretty hefty fees. So you can go over here to the Profit Revenue Calculator, just Google it, Amazon FBA Calculator, and type in your numbers. 2132 is what it's going for, and your cost is $12.99. So I'm going to say $13.50 just because you do spend a little bit sending it into Amazon, not a lot because they have discounted uh, UPS rates, but anywhere from $0.10 cents to $0.50 cents per title. $0.50 cents is a little high I've found, but I like to just uh, put that in there so I know what my risk factor is. And then you calculate that and it'll give you a profit of $2.03, which is really not too bad. Um, the reason is uh, weight handling is 76 cents, so that takes quite a bit because this is a kind of a heavy title. Um, other titles aren't gonna be that much money, standard DVDs, but this is a box set, it's 100, it's 24 discs. So that's why there's such a um, hefty fee right there and that takes out of your profit a little bit. So. $2.03, I would definitely go for that. Uh, let's see how many are left here. If just open in a new tab. They've got four remaining. So if it were me, I would just buy all four. Because uh, what might happen is Mountain View Movies may be one of the last places that has these. The company could have been closing them out. You, you don't really know. I mean, you could research it. But um, if, if these are the last people that have these, 
I'm going to have the remaining stock, and you look here, there's only a few FBA sellers, at least on top here, and if they all sell out, um, this the price of this may go up. Now, if you want to know for sure uh, what the history is and kind of make projections into the future, you can highlight this URL here, the main URL, copy that, and put it into this, this uh, program called Camel, Camel, Camel. It's, it's a very, very nice uh, free research tool. So you put it over here, camelcamelcamel.com, and it'll tell you basically everything about the history of this. Um, let's go to six months in the last six months or so. Um, you can see for a while it was at $40.86. So the price dropped around November to $25.33. You can get third-party seller information. Theirs has been all over the place. Um, so they've been, up, <laughs> they've been up to like $100 here, which is pretty crazy. And then down a little lower and then back up to $21.32. So you can see this is actually on an upward slant. Um, you know, this title may be getting more and more rare, and it's possible that uh, if these guys sell out, it might go back up to 25 bucks, or even that Amazon will see that no one else has this, and they can raise it back up to $30, $40, and you can make quite a bit of money off of that. Um, and then you can click over here to the sales rank. Again, take it to six months, and it'll, it'll tell you the sales rank history. So you can see... You know, 103,000, that's not that great. 28,000. So the rank has been as low as 15,000 and as high as 148. 148 isn't great, but it's not horrible either. Like I said, I can go up to 190 and still probably sell it within a year. So this is really a great title to sell. Um, I would definitely pick these up. It's down to, you know, 70,000 now. And, um, you know, the price is price is looking good and the price did bump up right there and you can see the rank went down because as the price goes up uh, you know obviously less people are going to buy it but still I mean a rank of 148,000 that's not bad people are still buying that it's selling slowly but people are buying it so I mean I'd be happy to let that sit for $40 and you know make all that profit um, once it sells you know let it sit for six months and then sell it that would be perfectly fine with me so that's kind of my strategy is you know look these up and and even if I make two bucks off of it you know two bucks times four dollars that's eight bucks in my pocket that I didn't have before just from looking at that one title so I've looked at a few of these already um, this was another one I wanted to mention this uh, nightmare on Elm Street now this you'll see it says here scratched UPC with sticker what that means is the manufacturer will take a razor blade and cut through the UPC. It just it, it makes it so you can't scan it. Um, so if you if a customer were to try to return that to a retail store for full value, they can't do that. Um, you know, apparently there's been problems with that. Someone might come and buy it for, you know, whatever it's going for, say eight dollars, and really the retail value is twenty nine ninety nine or whatever, and they'll try to re return it for twenty nine ninety nine, try to make money that way. So the manufacturer will just slice that um, as a way of preventing people from closing it out. They don't open it up. It's still factory sealed. Nobody's ever used it. Um, people sell this stuff all the time and just disclose it. And in Amazon's notes that there's a small slit through the UPC. Um, I literally sold you know, probably thousands of these um, until I got a complaint from a guy and he he was real mad and he left me negative feedback and you know I understood his point that he said if it's if it's new I shouldn't even have to look at the notes and whatever so he gave me a hard time I don't sell these anymore um, you know I wasn't doing it I wasn't violating Amazon's policy Amazon didn't have a problem with it um, but just to avoid the negative feedback I don't sell them uh, but let's just look at the title because lots of people do sell these and if you're willing to take that risk again you're not doing anything that violates policies you're just you know someone could potentially get upset so I don't focus on it but if you want to look it's $3.99 sells for $12.25 that's actually pretty good um, so you can see 57,000 sales rank I'd say that's quite good um, if you go to the profit calculator just to see what you'll make it was $12.25 
So we'll put it in as 1225 and we'll put the inbound shipping again at 450, just adding that extra 50 cents in there. See what we come up with, calculate that, and we've got 368. So um, 10 is about as high as I go for these, uh, the quantity of 10. They've got 87 remaining. So, you know, if I were, if I was comfortable buying the scratched UPC like I used to, I would buy 10 of those and then that's an extra 30 plus dollars in my pocket, you know, more than that. So, um, it, you know, it's not too difficult. You'll find as you go through here, there's a lot of titles that just aren't going to make any money. Um, and you've got to look at some of this stuff, version, widescreen, different cover, you know, they, they tell you, they disclose all this stuff. Mountain View Movies has been have been pretty good. Um, here, let's look at one more, because sometimes you put in the UPC and you'll see it brings it up as Benji, but this is actually Benji Blu-ray, and none of these, as far as I can tell, are the Blu-ray. Uh, so then in that case, I would just copy the title. And this is useful too if you find a site that doesn't give you the UPC. Just copy the title, match up the title and the picture, make sure it all it all uh, lines up. Oops, sorry about that. Um, so there it is, Benji Blu-ray, nine dollars two cents. You get it for two ninety nine. That would be a decent profit. Um, so then I would go in here, check the sales rank. Two hundred forty one thousand. That's higher than I like to go. So I'm not gonna do that one. Um, the only time I'll buy sales ranks that are, you know, 200, 240,000, something like that. Say the price here is like $89 and they've got it for 299 here. Um, now I'm not going to sell it for $89, but if you take it into Camel Camel Camel, you can see the price history and maybe at one point the price was at $30 and the sales rank was really good. So then you can judge from that history, hey, if I if I buy this, even though the sales rank is 240000 if I drop the price from $89 to $40, that's going to draw some attention from people, and people who want that title are going to buy that because it looks like it's a steal. I just dropped it from from $80 to $40, bucks and, uh, and they're going to buy that up, and then that's going to make the sales rank go down, 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 down. And, you know, as you know, if you read the book or you've done this kind of thing before, um, the lower the sales rank, the better. So number one would be like a number one product, you know, with like a top 40 list. So number one is, is awesome. And 241000 is just not good enough for me to buy and sell at this price. Again, if I could, you know, if I could drastically undercut um, Amazon.com or whatever seller is here, um, and make a really good profit, then yeah, I would I would risk it. But hopefully that kind of explains the strategy. Uh, like I said, feel free to head over to a little slice of the pie.com, leave comments um, you know at that website or on YouTube. Uh, ask questions if you want. I'll be happy to answer them and I uh, hope this helps. Good luck with your endeavors.